Okay, let's turn to someone else who is known to court controversy. Senior Congress leader Digvijay Singh has done it again today. Today he compared Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Hitler, possibly not for the first time. He also stirred a parallel row by addressing Masarat Alam as Sahib. Taking a dig at Modi over the praise showered upon him by US President Obama, Digvijay Singh said that even the former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill had to take back his words during the World War when he had earlier praised Adolf Hitler. Masarrat, Masarrat Alam Saab and Gilani Saab Dono ko kin dharao ke tahat giriftar kiya gaya hai ye Jammu Kashmir sarkar ko batana chahiye He is also praised Narendra Modi lately That's right, I would like to remind you he will also have to take back his words as Sir Winston Churchill had to take his, back his words in 1937 when he had praised Adolf Hitler. My question is, should the Congress be more gracious when commenting on the Prime Minister of the country? That's the question I want to raise. Should the Congress be more gracious when commenting on the Prime Minister of the country? Joining me now, Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi joins me. He is, of course, a senior Congress spokesperson and Rajya Sabha MP. Dr. Singhvi, when uh, Digvijay Singh was reminded of Obama praising Modi in the Time magazine profile, he says even Winston Churchill had to take back his words when he praised Adolf Hitler. Was it necessary to bring in the Hitler comparison? Uh, Rajdeep, since you are having a reasoned, sensible one-to-one -one discussion, let me be very frank and be very clear point-wise. Mm -hmm. See, first of all, the Congress party stand is not in sync with what a very, very senior leader, Mr. Digvijay Singh, whom I personally respect a lot, has said. Mm -hmm. Let me be clear that there is the Congress party does not believe in equating uh, the Prime Minister of the country with such names. Mm -hmm. Equally, let me say that mm -hmm. Mr. Digvijay Singh has not actually equated him. What he has said is what Mr. Winston Churchill did about Hitler. It may not be the same thing as equating him. But if he has equated him, I don't think the Congress party shares that view. Okay, so you are important, you are distancing uh, uh, yourself Rajdeep. from, you can distance yourself from Digvijay Singh's comments, no, but no, how do you I, explain I the fact no, no. that you repeatedly I, describe I Modi with epithets like Ravan in the past? Digvijay said he saw Ravan in connection no, no. with Modi's 3D uh, no, presence. Minute, let me be very clear. He's been Mr. called a Gandhi Nalika Kida by BK Hari Prasad. Hold on. Mr. He's Digvijay. been called Duryodhan, he's Mr. been called Bhasmasur, he's been called Frog. How do you explain this? Why this anger against uh, uh, against Mr. Modi? First and foremost, mm -hmm. Mr. Modi has done much worse. Mm -hmm. He has continuously and consistently abused every Congress leader and which is tragic, Ra Rajdeep, is that on foreign soil, mm -hmm. he talks of scams and gutters being cleaned. Now that a new government has come, mm -hmm. it is deplorable. But two wrongs don't make a right. We should pay Mr. Modi in his same coin, but we don't do it. Mm -hmm. Number two, none of the examples you've given has ever been the Congress party stand from the podium of the Congress party. Whenever the words have been used, we have distanced ourselves. I must add that Mr. Digvijay Singh is a very senior congressman mm -hmm. and there is a certain sentiment against Mr. Modi, but we have always said that that should not be translated into words but like But interestingly, this. you say However, this on the program and Mr. Think, Digvijay Singh to come tomorrow will probably say something similar about Mr. Modi. It seems that there is a section of the well, party which is determined a, in a sense I, yes. to liken Mr. Modi to a fascist dictator. Now, the fact is that Obama no, writing... Let me be clear. No, no. Obama writing positively about Mr. Modi in, in, in Time magazine as a reformer in chief surely does should not attract the these kind of extreme remarks no th that's a different issue no, no that's a different issue first you were talking of uh, other things all the examples you gave of Ravan and all that's why I'm answering that yes. about uh, time magazine I think there are two levels mm -hmm. remember this is a prime minister who has criticized previous governments on foreign soil I'm repeating that is deplorable totally against tradition mm -hmm. now if uh, American president mm -hmm praises an Indian Prime Minister, mm -hmm. we are happy to the extent it's a praise of a Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. It's not a praise of an individual. It's mm -hmm. a praise of a person who occupies the chair and ultimately is everybody's Prime Minister. But that is precisely why Rajdeep, it does not behove Mr. Modi to try and behave as if he's in a political campaign, as if he's speaking in the middle of a campaign 
or as if he is speaking as the Prime Minister of the BJP do or you, Prime Minister of BJP voters. Do, do you that accept? That distinction Mr. Modi should keep in mind. We, I, I am I, not ascribing to the view that we must criticize the Prime Minister on foreign soil. So you accept? I am not ascribing to the view that we must use words like Hitler or Ravan about him. You know, you are and saying I, you should not, Mr. Mr. Dr. Singh, we, you are saying that it, the Congress party also should not criticize the Prime Minister on foreign soil and yet Anand Sharma, your senior leader, today says, we will send a senior party leader to all countries henceforth. He will hold a parallel correct, conference correct, to correct. rebut the Prime Minister's allegations Absolutely. against the current opposition. Absolutely. What is going on? He has said, no, on the country is making my point, mm -hmm. please. What we are saying is the tradition till today. Mm -hmm. Do you expect Rajdeep that Mr. Modi on every foreign trip will do this mm -hmm. and we should sit quietly? What I have just said is an unbroken tradition. Imagine how cheap it looks, uh, Rajdeep, if an Indian Prime Minister speaking to an Indian diaspora or to a foreign audience, and always it includes a large foreign audience in Australia or in England or in uh, Canada, mm -hmm. criticizes as cheap political scam in India. I mean, it is absolutely disgusting. It has never happened before. Equally you disgusting. Campaign, equally disgusting is equally disgusting is the name calling. So I, I presume that you say the name calling should not I take place, myself. nor should the prime minister I be seen to using foreign soil to make political remarks. I take absolutely. Both. I now hope you so. are correctly summarizing me. Okay. You are correctly summarizing. Great. Well, for once, you and I are on yes. the same page. That doesn't happen too for, uh, often, Dr. Singhvi. Yes. So I appreciate that you joined yes, us yes, and yes. gave us a clarity on where the Congress party stands. Clearly, words like calling the Prime Minister, uh, likening the Prime Minister to Hitler, just because Obama has praised him in an, in an article, is, to, is lacking grace and lacking public decency.